Hello and welcome to this tutorial on the new personal chapter in Synthesis Adonis. So you'll find it um, at the end of the normal chapters, <clears throat> after the generals. So you see here, personal chapter, and uh, it says add symptoms on the fly. So you can uh, pretty much do what you like in the personal chapter. My intention with this video is just to give you some ideas so that you can um, roll with it. So essentially um, you're going to be able to add uh, your own symptoms in any way that you like here. So what I'm going to do is um, replicate my thematic repertory to see how many new um, remedies and families come through by using Synthesis Adonis. So if I if I click on repertories here and um, type thematic repertory, <coughs> we can see that come up. You can see here I've got the uh, remedies disabled to make it easier to see what's what. And if I was to recreate this one for Mind Carefree, so uh, I'll go back to Adonis. So uh, underneath Anticipation, because we're going in alphabetical order, I'm going to um, go up to Additions menu and add, <coughs> add a symptom level below the current symptom. So there's two options here. You can either do it at the same level, which is what we'll do, or you can add a sub rubric, <coughs> and that would add it below the uh, theme for anticipation. So here I just type carefree uh, and then I checked it and click OK. We'll just wait for that to update. <clears throat> now this is like indexing at the same time. Hmm. It will be searchable straight away. There's no re-indexing that has to happen, which is great. And it also updates in all of the languages. Um, obviously not translated but it, it has to update in several places um, and that's why it takes a little bit of time. So what I want to do now is add some cross references to the theme of Carefree. So I go back to the additions menu you'll note um, sorry, that there are shortcuts for every single main operation. So what I'm going to do is simply add a cross reference now. Okay this window comes up it says select the symptom with which you want to create a cross reference and you have the option to uh, not show that window anymore once you know what you're doing. So here I'm just going to go into mind, so I press enter, start typing for carefree, and once uh, I'm in the main rubric for carefree I just click on select, it uh, asks me, are you sure you want to do it? I'll click on OK, and then we'll just let that update. Um, and like I said, this uh, doesn't need any re-indexing or anything like that, it does it all in real time. So although there's a little wait, um, it means you can use these, these changes straight away. So once that updates, <clears throat> there we go. You can see a link to Mind Carefree. If I double click there, I can go straight to that point in the repertory and see the remedies that are there. You'll see there's also a link back to the personal chapter. So if I put in another one, um, so this time I used the shortcut, which is Command F12 on a Mac or Control F12 on a PC. And then I get a straight to this window, click OK, uh, and then we'll go Mind, um, Childish, and then keep pressing Enter until that comes up. And then on we go. Okay, so I finished making the links um, to the different uh, mind and dream symptoms in uh, the main chapters of synthesis now from my personal chapter. So um, this I can I can now take this as its own sort of super rubric using all of these cross references, and uh, it's an easy way to do that, um, which has been in the program for a long time. Now, there's various ways you can do it. F6 is the quickest, if you um, remember the shortcut. But um, from the take button that you see here, you click on the drop down arrow and then take and specify the options. You see that F6. So here, where it says also take, I click cross references. And then, with all rubrics merged into one, use all remedies. Take. Now I get one super rubric relating to everything carefree. And those are my remedies and families that come up. So we can compare that. 322 now in Adonis. And when I made the thematic repertory, I was using Treasure Edition and my own editions. So yeah, a vast increase really in the number of um, remedy editions there.
And just to uh, give an example, you see there the Lepidoptera or butterfly family. What I could do now is um, limit this to a view and say, show me just the families. So the burritas, mammals, sanguine temperament, butterflies, orchids, phlegmatic, fish, and row three coming up the most strongly there. We also see the Piperaceae, row two, the ringworm miasm, etc. So it's giving you some ideas, some hints. We could change it to minerals only, plants, or animals. Any view here, we could even change it to just reliable sources only. So we get a much more restricted classical view that way. So all of these views have their have their place and can be useful. We could say only clinical confirmation or indeed only uh, provings. So there's lots of ways to view the information. So the full gives you you know unfiltered, you know, very broad, very expansive view and you can change that according to what works best for you. <clears throat> so if I go back to Adonis, so that's, um, I could add a couple more here to show you the idea. So here's the theme for anticipation with the cross references that I've made. Uh, if I click F6, take the cross references and merge all the rubrics, it's that easy to create the theme using Synthesis Adonis. And I can see now a more standard looking repertorization. And of course, I could easily add um, a general symptom or a you know, particular to that. So let's take one more from here. So once you get used to the same operations, it's very quick to add that as though you were just dragging and dropping a symptom. Okay, and then let's just finish off the example by taking a general symptom. Abscesses, why not? So just drag and drop that one. Then we can see the repertorization. And again, we could filter, just show the families. Or just show plants, for example. You can even do further filtering, like if you uh, saw Secuta here, right click, you can limit to family members of that family, so the umbelliferae, or you could go a bit broader and look at the apiales. And then say, oh, yeah, I didn't know about a fuser. And then click there to open the keynotes, or double click, depending on the settings in your program. There we go. If you double click on a tab, that closes the table of contents, which is a very useful shortcut to remember. Then I've uh, created some favorite keynotes, so I'll make a video about that soon. But now when my keynotes load, it starts with um, the Vimulin Synoptic, which I find to be a very helpful, reliable Materia Medica. Okay, so that's one example of how to use the personal chapter in Adonis. But um, there's lots of things you can do. It's completely up to you. So if I go back to full repertory view and then open the navigation tool, click on the personal chapter, click on go to, then I head back to the start. One of the other things that I um, have thought to do is to create a little sensations as if section. So I have a, a search <clears throat> saved which gives me the exact string that I need to find all of the as if or as of or as from symptoms. Uh, so you can save any search query you like using this uh, disk icon, you see, save the search. So if you build something quite complex and you're going to use this again, it's a good idea to save it and then you can recall from the folder there. And um, you know, sometimes I number things to make it easy to find them. So I can see that's the that's the search string there. So, <clears throat> you know, I searched and specified using A to Z where I wanted to look, and I looked in provings. Okay, 
so that's exactly what comes through on this search. Then I found an interesting symptom from the proving of um, cockroach. So if I double click here, hold down the Alt key, and we know that it's an as if symptom, so I'm just going to take this part and then right click and copy, then go back to Adonis. Okay, and it's, um, <clears throat> I need to create a sub rubric from the sensations as if now. So I click here, sorry, go to the top, click on additions, and Command F10 is the shortcut. So you add a symptom level, and I'm going to add it as a sub rubric. And then I'm going to do paste, and then check, and then OK. So I've not followed the um, synthesis symptom format here because I'm in the personal chapter and I'm doing a sensations as if style thing where I want to keep, you know, the proving language as it is, uh, you know, remain faithful to it. So that's the option you have when you're using the um, personal chapter like that. So what I'll do now is create a link back to the proving itself. So I'll click on the proving and then from here I would use uh, command F7 or I can right click and go to additions. In fact, what I'll do is click on the additions top menu, click on F7, which is add a remedy including source information. Then it says, do you want to add bladder? It shows me the symptom to synthesis. And I'll say yes. It opens synthesis for me. Then I just have to head back up here, click on additions, click on F7. And then it's going to add that remedy for me with a link back to the Materia Medica. And that's a nice way that you can build up um, some sensations into synthesis. Or you, you know, like the idea with the personal chapter is that you can do whatever you want. And this is just one idea um, and a nice thing you can do. So there we see Blatter, the link back to the proving here. If I click there, I'll go back to the proving. And that's it. So just to show you <coughs> how it's already indexed, uh, if I now um, open a search window, clear that search, search for Blatter Orientalis. So the last place I selected was Provings, so I'll change that to All Open Repertories. Open Synthesis. If I scroll down to the bottom here, there you can see already the symptoms there in the personal chapter. And there's just a couple of ideas for you. So I thank you uh, for watching and hope you enjoyed.